Hi guys, I'm back with another video. This one's a little bit of a treat, I think. It's from Minix. They've been kind enough to send me out two of their latest media players from the Z64 range, which is the Windows version, which you can see in front of me, and I've also got an Android version to check out, so there'll be another video covering that. Excuse the voice, I'm still poor yet. can't get rid of it. <laughs> so I apologise if I sound a bit nasally. I'll try not to. Now, they also sent me out their Neo A2 Lite remote, which is this. It's got a nice keyboard on the back. It takes AAA batteries and it's universal, so it'll work with Windows, Mac, Android and Linux. It has a little USB dongle which you plug in and away you go. Now, for anyone who's familiar with Windows, you'll recognise this straight away. It's the standard Windows 8 desktop fully licensed version that you get with Minix when you buy this box you get all your Windows updates, driver updates, anything like that you will need to do on this it does anything that a desktop or a laptop would do it's got a Intel quad core processor which clocks at around 1.3 gigahertz and it's also got 2 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM it's got 32 gigabytes of flash storage which is great you don't get that much normally on these Android boxes and it also takes an external hard drive so if you want to store your media on an hard drive and play it that way you can do it on this box it takes it's got two USB 2.0 ports it also takes a micro SD card up to the size of around 128 gigabytes I believe it's got Bluetooth 4.0 and the Wi-Fi antenna is 802.11n, so single band, and it's also got an Ethernet port, which unfortunately isn't gigabit. A lot of people ask me to compare this to the X8H, and I'll just tilt the camera down a bit. You can see it there on the bottom. It's a lot smaller. It's designed exactly the same way, only in a smaller shape. The front has got a little infrared port and a uh, blue LED light but other than that it looks exactly the same just in a smaller package <clears throat> right so I've already installed Kodi on here I'm just going to quickly check out a bit of coverage from Genesis which is not my normal go to add on I don't really want to do too much on Kodi because there's a few other things this box can do that I want to show you so we'll go to movies you can see for yourself how quick this is getting around coder breezes it i don't really have to say anything go to the most popular section and as you can see all the artwork loads up fine no no like missing artwork or don't struggle to navigate through these artworks we'll just quickly check out um a video we'll see if we can find a 1080p somewhere start this from the beginning and as you can see instant loading up there no issue at all as you'd expect we'll quickly skip 10 minutes in perfectly fine coping with that and we'll skip another 10 minutes in perfectly fine again no issues that's all I really want to show you for Coder. if I get enough interest then maybe I'll do a full length video on I'll do a build or something for it and show you how it works the next thing I want to show you is an M3U file I know a lot of you guys who are subscribed to me use it I'm just going to show you I've got the, the full version of VLC media player for Windows the desktop version and I've just pulled an M3U file from my cloud box so I'm just gonna open this with VLC media player and you can see how well it copes with streaming this is BT Sport 1 HD no issues at all played it instantly 
no issues with picking up sound or anything like that perfectly fine we'll just jump out of that and the next thing I want to show you is a 1080p clip this is for the people who use external hard drives or NAS devices or anything to store their media on you can play your files instantly this way it, there's no no restriction on that I know that a lot of people who subscribe to me also use the Fire TV and their biggest bugbear is that you can't use an external hard drive so I'm just going to show you guys that you can do this so we'll, we'll use Windows Media Player and as you can see no problem at all this is actually stored on the box itself I'm not using external but you can play from an external as well as you can see crisp picture no issues with coping with it or anything like that we'll jump out of this and we'll go to the 4k clip and we'll open that with media player 2 4k clip coping just as well no issues no lag just a beautiful picture you can see for yourself I don't really need to and we'll jump out of that quickly as well also I've got the desktop version of Spotify loaded up this is the full version it's not been watered down for an app or anything like that anything that you could get on your PC Spotify you can do on here I actually prefer this version than the app version it's got more features so I know a lot of you use that too and the last thing I want to show you is the Windows um, App Store a lot of people use Android for the simplicity of apps but I just want to show you here that you can get these apps on Windows too Windows 8 anyway they cover it these are the top free apps from them they also have a lot of games I might cover a, a short video on games um, we've got the likes of Facebook, Twitter, Skype um, Dropbox which is a must have app we've got a watered down version of Photoshop for anyone who likes to edit pictures all sorts of stuff I've not really looked at it myself but there's tons there's even a kindle app we can also use skype on this so for anyone who does want to use it as a desktop pc as well as a media player hook up a webcam and you can make your video calls that about covers what i want to say um i'll leave a link in the description to minix's site for anything that i've missed or if there is anything you'd like to know that I've not covered, leave me a comment below and I'll cover it for you. Or I'll let you know about what you what what it is that you're querying. Um, I'll also leave a link for a UK seller below. I'll find one and link it along with the with this remote. Of for anyone who's just interested in that. Um, please subscribe, like, share with anyone who you'd think this would interest I've made these videos for you guys to cover new devices before you buy them I know a lot of people like to know the ins and outs so I've done that for you guys anything I've missed please let me know and I'll make sure that I find out for you cheers guys